Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Alright, well we made a little bit of money here, selling some stuff, and it is indeed time, speaking of selling, to check on the animals in our fine farm. So I need to buy some raw beef, I guess. And we'll just buy a thousand of it. Confirm. Uh, and then there it goes. Put it in my inventory, if you please. I need to buy some seeds um, that are cheap. Like, how are cheap are these? Um, that's not bad, but do we have cheaper than that? Four hundred seems to be the cheapest. Barley, okay, that's now the cheapest. Three eighty. Four oh two. Um See if there's anything that's just, like, outrageously cheap. Well, 345. 366. All right, 366 is actually the cheapest that I saw somehow. Or 345. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get these? All right. Well, we got some of them, which is good enough. Okay, and we will then teleport all the way to Arduin and check in on our farm. Now, I wonder if my animals are going to recognize me, given the fact that I'm wearing still my disguise from the quest called The Feud. Uh, and I think it's funny, so I'm just going to keep wearing it. Let's, by the way, open these up. Uh, okay. Just put those in the bank. And put those in the backpack. And we'll take it. Use them. Oop, no. Uh, choose skill. Use all herbs. Do it. All right, and let's go ahead and gather produce, remove. Um, nope. Gather that produce and remove, and how are we doing on animals? Okay, we have blaster, check animals. Let's go to the back. Blaster is sparkling, remove. Great. Um, let me top this off. Fantastic. How's it going here? Sparkling and good is Gilly, the male. Ooh, that, and it's a shining one, too. Um, maybe I want to replace... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and replace Howl with this one. And we're going to then remove Howl. And Jane is doing fine. Surly and perfected, no thanks. And... Sparkling and handsome female. Whoa, what's our other female? Sparkling and glorious. Wow. Well, both pretty good. But we'll take this one out. And we'll top that off. Alright, let's go look at our yaks. How you doing, yaks? Um, Enola is fine, Khan is fine, and we've got an elder who is stressed, and we'll take it out. Go ahead and fill up that trough. Bam. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much with my spiders, given my inventory situation, but she's sparkling. Elder. Wow. Inky, joyful, and mysterious on the female. Three traits. Amazing.
Um, she's sparkling, but she has three traits. Uh, I think I'll go with the three traits. Try that out. Oh, I'm full up on inventory, though. Wouldn't you know it. Um, can I just, like, get rid of this? I can, but then it closes my inventory. Okay, there we go. Let's go talk to the animal collectors and turn some things in. And say, thank you very much. We're done. Quick sell animals to the yak trader. Hello? Yes. Alright. And quick sell. Yes. Quick sell. Yes. Alright. Fantastic. Let me go over here and check this paddock. And good. Good. So she's genetic mutation. That's not what we want. So let me fill that. And let me go over here. See how this is doing. Sparkling. Happy. Fine. Fine. Alright. So let me top this off. Um, I'll add in, you know, that many of my beef. And we'll put the rest of the raw beef on the other one. Okay, great. And let me check here. Mm-hmm. Produce. This is a male sparkler. What is the male that's in here? It's lucky and charmed. That's probably better. Old at heart and mysterious. We'll take you out. Okay, let's top this off. And let's... She'll fill me up, but I bet she has more. Of those so let me just go over here very quickly and just bump in oh we'll go over here and I need to quick sell my animals yes All right, and then um, quick sell the animals. Okay, good. Got some beans. And all right, let me go into my bag and see if there's any more unchecked champas. I'm just going to put in the spider venom and the fangs and the silk. And the yak hide. Like that. And we should be good. Yeah, she did have some more. What is this note? Oh, oh, this is all about... The, the safe that we broke in. We don't need these. Make some space. Okay. I don't even know if I need this key anymore to the front door of the, the mayor's house for the quest. But maybe I do, so I'll hold on to it. Let me quickly just check my Anacrania farm. There we go. Oh my god, I've been pulled under. Okay. And uh, this is not going to be going well. Uh, let me fill the trough with... Uh, they need flies. I forgot to bring flies for them. Oh god, what a disaster. Alright. Um, cure disease... Check the head. Eyes faintly glowing. Feet. 
Alright, um... Okay, gather produce. Gather produce. I mean, these frogs just all need help because I ran out of food. So I gotta go get food to get their uh, status back. But before I do that, let me at least check on my Jadinkos, give them the seeds that I've purchased for them. Wait a minute. Did I put the seeds away? Where'd they go? Hmm. Let me check in my bank really fast. I thought I bought a bunch of seeds. I hope I didn't accidentally give them to another animal. That happens sometimes. Well, wherever those seeds that I purchased went, they're gone. I used all my raw meat. Man, so weird. Maybe just when I was topping somebody off with woad leaves, it gave them seeds instead and I wasn't paying attention? Alright, we're going to go ahead and go to the Grand Exchange and at least buy some flies. Maybe try to fix this other situation that we found ourselves in. Alright. Let me... Um, okay. Go back. Let's sell these. All. Yep. And then... Sell. Oh boy, that doesn't sell well at all. Okay, but the milk does. Okay, and then... Let me buy some seeds. Nobody's doing that. So, let me try to buy some other seeds that are cheaper. I know we saw some seeds down here that weren't horribly expensive. Yeah, okay. Well... They tell you that you can buy them, but they... Oh, wait, I don't really... Well, I do need seeds. That's actually true, but... Let me try to change the offer. All right, let me buy um, those seeds again, but... No... Okay, these are selling well. Uh, we got some, but not very many. But it's better than nothing to give them. Alright. I'm trying to sell yak milk. It's not selling. Let me get rid of this purchase. And I need to buy flies. Oh, dear goodness. Nobody is selling. Let me edit the offer. Try it like that. Can we get some flies? Alright, some. I could go buy flies, I guess, um, in uh, Taverly. They do sell flies here. That much I know. This is the life of a uh, farmer. I'm just trying to get my farming skill up to 90. Would be amazing. It's 89 right now. We need a sizable chunk to get there. But we will get there. Alright. Let's go in here. And, um... No, not you. I want flies. Trade, pet shop owner. Give me the flies. Buy all of them. Alright. So now we have at least some. 
Okay. I'm going to teleport over to Ardoin. Then hit the zoo, or the Anacronia farm. And be done. Hopefully. Okay. Let me at least give these frogs something to eat. There. Enjoy. I oh, got some more flies. For next time. I should probably just always, at the Grand Exchange, be buying, like, flies and seeds. While I'm skilling up my farming. Luckily, this actually isn't doing bad. I have some seeds still in here, so my my Jadinkos are not dying. Alright, these elders are good. These babies are... Well, they're still babies. Okay. Alright. Could have gone worse. We're okay. Mm-mm. Here we go. And let me just go over here. There we go. Let me put these things away. Now, for fun, let me put my uh, Guthic staff back on, take off the old blackjack, put my skeletal helm back on, and let's look at our um, challenges for today. Oh, we've got a bunch. We have thieving from stalls, construction, cooking, fishing, and dungeoneering. Okay, so uh, this is easy enough. Let me see if I can, though, get my... Um, my Ardo Ardoin cape. Uh, no. Um... Is it called the Ardoin Cloak? Yeah. So, the Ardoin Cloak gives you... A shadowy Ardoin Cloak. And it, it says it gives... I think it helps you pick pockets. But I don't know if it helps you steal from market stalls or not. Um... Oh, I thought it had, like, a Adventurer's Ring or something like that. No. Uh. No. Okay. Alright. Well then, let me teleport then to Ardoin and just try to steal from some stalls. We're gonna... We're gonna steal. And I like to steal from this stall over here. The baker's stall, if I can. Oh, come on now. Just let me steal. I've got my shadowy cloak on. And we did it. That was easy enough. Get our thieving up. Construct normal or flat-packed furniture. 
go to your player-owned house and construct the furniture. But what if I do it with a contract? Um, I think I do have a contract from the house, from the... Uh, the guy in Varrock who wants you to make stuff for people. Does that count for my... Let me see if that counts. So I'll go to my bank chest, and we're just going to examine it. And we're just going to say, um, contract. I do have the construction contract right here. And it says, um, table shelf, drawer shelf, shelves for the, the shopkeeper in Edgeville. Fine. And then so to do this, uh, I'm just going to put in these cakes and things. What I want would be planks. And I'll just take out protean planks. And then I also want uh, nails. And so we can just take rune nails. That's fine. And then um, cloth. Five of these. We don't actually need anything else for this. Um, but just in case... Sometimes you want to have uh, candles. Okay, let's see if this is good enough. Teleport to Edgeville, please. And let's try and make it happen. North of... Go north. Okay, so it's north of... The bank, so I, I'm guessing they mean they mean this shop right here. They either mean this one or this one. Let's check in here. Anything that needs building in here? This isn't really a shop, is it? Let's check over here. Or they said, did they say north of the lodestone? No, it says north of the bank. It's this one. Yep. Okay. And we just need... We're going to make mahogany. And we're going to do it. Alright. So it says flat plank furniture. I don't know if this counts for flat plank furniture. Let's see. This guy's watching me work. Jeez, dude. And let's see. Maybe this doesn't count as, like, building stuff because it's just repairing it. So I'll probably have to end up going to my player own house and just making some things. And that's fine. I'm helping your shop. We're going to just get this to work. Perfect. Climb up the ladder. Alright, get that table done. Mahogany table, please. Alright, there's the other drawer that we need. There's just some other shelf. I probably left it downstairs, and we'll find it. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting very, very little experience because I have, you know, 73 construction. But maybe the ex experience rolls in when you finish the contract. So Nick Man is over here talking to me about getting my fishing skill up. And my fishing is not good. It's true. All right, we're going to go down. And there's a shelf that I didn't fix. It's this one. All right. So, unfortunately, can't double dip very easily for this quest right here. But we at least finished this contract, and we see how many experience we get for doing that. 
Boom. Five star review. Oh, we got five credits and we got an achievement for doing that. We also completed 25 construction contracts. I think that means we have enough credits to get the plank bag, uh, which is pretty cool. So I could carry more planks and don't have to always just carry around uh, protean planks, potentially. Let me see how much experience we ended up getting for construction there. Yeah, we got about 10,000 for that. So that's pretty nice. All right. So I am going to teleport to Port Serum and then go to my player house, try to finish this contract. Let's see, what other contracts do we have? We have cooking and fishing. Well, Nick Man was talking about fishing. I can go fish and then cook up what I fish. I always enjoy doing that. Um, go to my house in building mode, please. There is no place like home, indeed. All right. I guess let's just go, like, remove these teak drawers. Yes. And then build a wardrobe uh, that's teak. And let's see if this counts for my... It does. All right. So remove. Yes, and don't ask again. And then build it. Teak. Remove. Build. Teak. Remove. Build. Teak. And then remove and build. And Teak. Got it. Perfect. It was Vicky who taught me about that little technique, and she was explaining that before contracts, that is how you raised your construction skill, was doing that. And that's rather brutal. There we go. Look at that. Jeez, we got a lot of construction from doing that. Fantastic. Okay, so for fishing, I need to be catching what? Like, what would be helpful? Short finned eel. I could do lobster pot. Or I could catch raw cave eel or rainbow fish. Um, or tuna with harpoon fishing. That's hilarious. Um, okay. Well. These are all things you could do, right? And they would be smart if you did them. But I could also just go down here and and quickly fish some bad fish. I won't be able to hold very much with all these candles, unfortunately. But I think I can fish at one of these bubblers. Yeah, fish here. Oh, good God. Um, is there another way to fish? Just bait fish. Oh, God. Um, what about... All right, all right, all right, all right. Can I just fish with nothing? No. No, you can't. Okay. Well, I did need to drop stuff off anyway. Rainbow fish are Barbarian Village is where you go to get them. Alright. Um, what can you catch rainbow fish with? Um, what type of fishing is it is uh, does it require? Um, all right. Well, anyway, let's go to the Barbarian Village and see if we can catch some actual, um, stuff. Oh, God. I didn't mean to push that. I have teleported to the <laughs> Menaphos. Um, 
which Menifos might actually have some good fish. I don't know what kind of fishing they've got in here. But I want to try the rainbow fish. So the, they are at the Barbarian Village. Yes, that. And the Barbarian Village, Gunner's Ground, is just actually really close to um, the Fowador location would do it. But let's go to Edgeville so we can get to our bank and put this stuff away. Probably the wisest. Get into the bank. Bank. I want to put these and these away. Uh, we can also put in these and that. And I'd like to take out um, feathers. And then, do I have any bait? Yeah, just in case. I'll take my bait and my feathers and see exactly what is demanded of the... rainbow fish all right we're going down here I guess it would be at the river well let's see what you can catch right here first of all trout, salmon, I mean, nothing against these fish, but not quite rainbow fish. Where am I on the map? I'm here, and the Barbarian Village is here, but if I'm looking for a body of water that's by them... This feels like the closest one. Maybe they mean down here. Um, let's just see if there's another spot that's like further south. No. I mean, if there is, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, this has got to be it. This is right by the Barbarian Village. Alright, well, check that one then. Or maybe it's bait. Maybe I want to do bait here and not lure. Let's, let's see what that does. Alright, and we got a pike. Um, and we got another pike. And we're fishing. Uh oh. We're no longer catching things. What happened? <laughs> what is this? I found a strange rock. Okay. Try the lure. Maybe that'll catch fish faster. The Yeah. I mean, the trout doesn't give as much experience, but it seems to happen slightly faster than this. Try this other fishing spot. Boy, that one spot's terrible. Okay. All right. 
I can't carry any more fish. Good. All right, so now what we want to do is... Uh, oh. I'm actually going to drop my food and chop down a tree. And then move here. And we're going to light these logs. And I'm going to um, use the fire. And I'm going to cook. And I'm going to cook as many salmon as we can. And we're doing cooking. And we're doing fishing. My god, look at that desert soul that I dropped. It's as big as a person. Pretty impressive. Use the fire on the pike. Cook all that. Use the fire on the trout. All right. Boy, I got to tell you, the stuff that we can cook, not very good. All right, fantastic. We're getting there. Um, eat. Eat, eat. I'm just going to eat it all because it's funny. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Just gorge yourself on fish. And then we're going to take care of this. And we're just going to fish up some more stuff. We need to catch eight more fish. And we will be in the catbird seat. Uh-huh. Six more. Not bad at all. Okay. We finished it. All right. And then let's chop down the tree. Hopefully we got enough. Let's light the logs. And let's use the fire to cook all of this trout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There it goes. And then let's use the fire to cook all of this salmon. We did level up our cooking, but I think we, we might be short on things to cook. We might need to catch a few more. I think maybe when you burn it, it doesn't count or something. I don't know how to say it, but we'll get there. We need three things. One. Two. Three. I'm going to get four, just in case I burn one. All right, we're good now. Use the fire. Cook. Trout. Cook all these. One. Two. Three. Got it. Four. Perfect. All right, and then let's go in and let's just claim the rewards for this. And we did it. And we leveled up fishing to 47. And cooking to 47. Keeping those nice and close. Which is funny. And then... Um, 
Let me go to the Grand Exchange. And hit the bank. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit all my trout and all my salmon and my burnt fish. Oh, yeah. That, that. Yeah, all my fishing stuff. And we're good. And then I am going to change my cloak just so I don't forget. And I think I finished buying my flies. So let me put those in the bank. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then let me go to uh, my treasure hunter keys, and let's claim these, see if we get anything good. Uh, backpack, sure. Um, backpack. Uh, bank. Okay. Um, I can get that I guess and oh there sweet awesome all right so let's rub these all of them herbs confirm and boom and then choose all of them this confirm fantastic and then use them oh, uh, charge my boots please there we go great all right, so now we're doing really, really well. We, we completed our farming for the day, and we got a bunch of our challenges taken care of. And look at us. We are in a world of wonder, getting our skills to an actually decent range. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode where I just kind of go around and work on just generally leveling up my character, skilling, grinding, and having some fun in a leisurely way when I'm not uh, doing the stream and questing so I can build up my characters uh, to avoid interruption between quests where I just don't have the requirements because of my skills. And I think chipping away at it is the best way to go. It's a nice relaxing way to spend some time as well. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys next time in Let's Play RuneScape. Take care.